scene of episode four that was all kind of touching and yeah and then of course you know Grand Moff Tarkin which is a total nostalgic thing which was fantastic but yeah it, it, it was moments like that that those, those are the things that people talk about and the best parts of this movie and even though we hate the movie we loved those scenes there just weren't enough of them when I came out of that theater it's like if they would have made the whole movie like that that would have been awesome yeah it would have been and way more entertaining than you know having these morons on screen that we didn't care about all the time in fact mentioning one of these morons Cassian being oh like maybe another Han yes. only not very much at all? In my opinion, a lot of people thought that Poe Dameron was like the next Han from Episode 7. I disagree. I thought Poe Dameron was going to be the next Wedge, which he kind of is at this point. We'll see where they go with that character. But anyway, Cassian, he's got the same holster rig that Han Solo has. It's just a little bit modified, and that's it. If you look at his winter coat, it's nothing but Han Solo's Hoth coat in the blue color with white Corellian stripes down the side of it. Total ripoff. Total ripoff. Even some of the things he wears. Um, his his khaki-colored uniform has Han Solo-ish things about it. And I, I don't know, just everything they tried to do with, with the look of the character reminded me of Han Solo. Now, as far as the character itself, this guy's boring as hell. He's nothing like Han Solo. It's it's like a shell of Han Solo that you're supposed to like. And it was just so boring. I mean, the stuff that this guy does, you just don't care about. And it's almost like he doesn't care about what he's doing either. His acting is very flat. Oh, nothing against the guy himself. He might be a great actor. It might have just been the script. But what we yeah. were given was very flat and unemotional and very on par with the main girl. Yeah. I didn't like this character, but again, it just felt like they're trying to take a poor man's version of Han, Sho Han Solo and shove it in my face, and I didn't like that. I actually didn't even really remember anybody's names until my husband told me because they didn't matter enough to me. I only remember me. Cassian because I hated him so much. What about the chick? You remembered her. Jen. There you go. Mm. Jen and Cassian, most boring characters yeah. ever. Flat, bland, okay, we're going to do this. Oh, I'm sad. Oh, it's Twilight all over the I'd take gin and juice before I took gin and Cassian again. <laughs> and I don't even like drinking. But this movie made me want to drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we already kind of covered that. Kind of covered that. Krennic being an idiot? Yeah, we covered that already. We only covered the parking <laughs> far away. <laughs> the fact of the main people hiring him he had a problem with but I kind of understood and I thought we might okay. take on that go ahead now I felt that Krennic being employed by Vader and Tarkin got it right? good job <laughs> thanks so much um, it makes sense the story because if the bad guy always makes the best of decisions the bad guy was always would always win case in point I mean really we need some kind of story we need some kind of conflict of course this guy the doesn't classic think bad guy must be an idiot thing in order for the good guys to win and an example <laughs> of that would be <laughs> I'm just going to throw them in the vat with ill-tempered sea bass and close the door and expect them to die I don't see what the problem is <laughs> so you kind of got a torn uh <laughs> decision here that one wants something more but one expectedly realizes that everything can't be perfect otherwise the bad guy will win the fact that this guy even thought he was on par with Grand Moff Tarkin is just laughable I mean he's I, I he doesn't do one thing right during the course of this entire movie and yet he thinks he's like the coolest bad guy ever it's like no know your place dude take a freaking back seat to the guys running the show Vader and Tarkin they know what they're doing. Which clearly showed him up throughout the movie anyways. And really, to summarize a lot of the problems and stuff, the people making the movies seriously, I think, saw problems in itself because look at all the scenes that were in the trailer that we never actually got to see. Yeah, they ended up doing a lot of re 
reshooting. They did a film. lot of reshooting, which makes me wonder what would have been the movie before. Also makes me scared for the Han Solo movie, which they're doing a lot of reshooting for. But again, a lot of people thought this was the best Star Wars movie ever. So and we know, clearly maybe disagree. Maybe they did something right. I don't know, but I thought it was trash. Uh, Absolutely. Do you trash. see anything that was good other than the hallway scene? Absolutely good. Alan Tudyk was great. But had nobody to play off. But had nobody to play off of. So his character even fell flat, which yeah. is ridiculous because Alan Tudyk is amazing. Yeah. So, really, neither of us feel there's anything worth anything in this movie. This movie is not even worth watching for free. Do not waste your money on it. It is on Netflix right now. If you're really dying to watch it and you haven't yet, go on there and watch it. At least, it'll, at least it won't cost you anything. But my suggestion would just be to go on YouTube and watch the cool nostalgic scenes from the movie and call it good. You'll save yourself a lot of time. And you'll and see heartache. just as much good stuff. Yep. So that's about it with that. We so overall yeah. 95% hate this movie. Yep. That being said, we are looking forward to episode 8, and yeah. we'll be watching that as well. Yes, now, we will. Hopefully we won't have to do a review for that one, because we only review controversial films. So... If everybody loves that movie, which hopefully they will, you won't see our ugly mugs doing a review on it. <laughs> so, does that wrap it up? Yep. I, just talking about this movie is making me ill, so I, I'm completely done if you are. I'm done, too. Alrighty. Alright, guys, bring on the hate mail, and we'll see you next episode.